What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's go in and wrap it up. Damn, bro. I still can't believe that. I was expecting so much more. Ah, the swirling maelstrom of creation. Magnificent. Is it not? Now, time for your final act. You seem very magey with the whole floating in the air thing. I can already tell this is going to be annoying. Oh shit. You played your part well. All right. This might this might just be a great sword fight. Holy... No, I need poison on this. What are we ending at? 96? As are most people would probably be 90 if they weren't using the farming set like I was. Did a full charge too. Get nuked. <laughs> oh shit! No. Oh my god, he got no. fucking cooked, oh, dude. It is impossible. <laughs> Such imitation, crude. Porcinella, you always were destined for my. This is not your victory. Fool! A performance for the ages, my dear friend. A standing ovation for the overture to the new world. Now, let us conclude this messy affair. Reach out! My power crippled by a script I did not write. I had no choice, you see. Naught but twisted mirror held to his corrupted visage could end this tragic tale. And so I toiled and tried time and time again. The sole thing I had a plenty, maker, maid, and mold stand here. A vessel to begin anew, a salve for this wounded world 
Now, reach out. Fulfill your purpose, dear friend. Nah, I don't think I will. Wisdom. I was to help him be born anew, not supplant him with your faceless approximation. Does the puppet believe itself to be a man? Has rot grown roots within your wooden mind? I will carve your final chapter onto your body, you mockery of mankind! You think this is Monster Hunter? Get out of here with those hammer wax. Oh, is this my stuff from earlier? Just a thread. I gotta parry more often. Fucked it up. I just gotta beat you the old fashioned way. Last steal though. Oh man, he might actually beat me. What are you doing? No! Oh man. That's whack. I should have won that first attempt. That should have been over. But he, uh. I fucked up. I didn't get my crit finisher. I would have been, uh. I would have been a GG. Me, um, let's see something. Um, 
Concentrated Milano. Not what I meant to do. I was trying to. It's X. He's kind of. I mean, I'm. I'm already. I. I said it with Wu Kong. I'll say it again. I'm already not a fan of bosses that do the whole. Uh, you know, we take away all your abilities. I don't think that's very good. I guess it being a, a hidden boss, at least I can kind of... Oh no, actually Erlong was also a hidden boss and he did the same bullshit. Forgot I had sap. You gotta- oh god. That shit just insta-killed me. So, if you run away from him, you're fucked, basically. You just- your only option is to just fight him. Just smack the shit out of him. Come on. You buffing yourself or something? Into 
What the fuck is that? What the shit? Your tale was tragedy. Bro, the first, the very first attempt, he almost got absolutely bodied, and now all of a sudden he's like, hey, I actually forgot like half of my moveset. Can we, can we redo these? Damn, apparently. I think that's buffing him something. My harmonious sap lasts way longer than I thought it did.
not again! Not like this! Oh, you're dead. Idiot, get dubbed on. What's this weapon look like? Oh, what? cutscene. What cruel machinations led you to this? Must betrayal be at the heart of my story? All I wanted was to undo the madness unleashed. Arlecchino. My dear brother. I reached out to you within the blackness of the void beyond. My song ends. Yet in the primordial ink of creation, our song begins. Very creepy. Well, damn. I guess that's all. Um, well, let's just do a review. So, all in all, some some pretty good ideas. Um, I I do think they cleaned it up quite a bit compared to the demo they released that was ooh, that was rough um and it, it's definitely at a spot where i think it's playable but the game definitely still needs some polish we had a couple of uh, crashes here and there a couple of, of weird pathing jank where you know you get stuck somewhere um like the, like what was it like an episode or two ago where i got stuck and i was like just bunny hopping trying to get back on that bridge you know like little things like that i'd rather just either kill me or don't let me slip there um, so, so definitely some, some polish that's needed. Uh, I'd say that the biggest thing I'm disappointed by is the fact that I was told, yeah, you're looking at about 30 to 40 hours. That was not 30 to 40 hours. I mean, even, even going by, where the fuck's my mouse at? There we go. Hold up. Let me, let me see something. I'm pretty sure on their Twitter, they even like put out a time to beat thing. Let me see something. Where is it at? How long is the game? Finish the golden path. Defeat all the main bosses. Minimal exploration. 15 to 20 hours. Bro. I beat the full game in sub 15. And I would not call that minimal exploration. I was... I, I literally combed the fucking map. I was finding everything I could. I was doing all the little challenge encounters. Like, I did every single thing that I could find in this. And then they say, 35 to 40, finish the game, gather all the masks, finish all the quests, fight all mandatory and optional bosses, discover the true ending, explore every area of the game. I mean, unless there's a ton of shit that I missed, like, I don't, I don't see how that's possible. I really don't see how you would hit I mean, the only thing in that, and this is, by the way, this is from their, their Twitter account. Um, the only thing that would make sense is the gather all the masks, because you're literally spending time farming. And and we we farmed up the, the one mask to finish up that quest, the uh, the gondolier quest. We pro I probably spent an hour doing that and still finished this in sub-15. So length was definitely disappointing here, because... I mean, I don't know. Unless there was, like I said, there if there was entire areas that I had missed. But like, I mean, I got the the two goddesses. I feel like I was going all over the place. Every time I saw a side path, I was trying to to make my way over. Like, this did not feel like minimal exploration. And, and maybe there's just a ton of shit that I missed, but it it sure did not feel like that. Uh. Gameplay, obviously a, a fair amount of, of jank there, but I mean, we've, we've dealt with that forever, so we don't need to talk about that all that much. Um, the good parts of the gameplay, though, the parry felt really good. I liked the parry here a lot. I liked the parry here more than I liked it in Liza P, to be honest. Um, besides that, the 
loadout system. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of it. You know, I was like, why do I... It's like, why do I need three separate builds? But especially as I began to lean more into the elemental playstyle, being able to just hot swap between two identical builds with four separate weapons, that was nice. And then, you know, obviously, eventually we, we had it set up to where it was like, okay, this is my farm build. This is my fight build. This one here is my, uh, this is more my, my line build. So, uh, I like that. That was, was pretty cool. Um. Uh, I will say, from the perspective of the the, the hidden boss, Pulicino at the end, uh, that is kind of shit, because, dude, if you had done a battle mage build, and you put all your juice into playing with mask lines, and then you got to the end, like, GG, kiddo, you're fucked. You know, there you can't use mask lines on that. If you choose not to, yeah, start it later. From any reality not. Good. Um... But yeah, I mean, that would that would suck. I mean, I'd imagine a physical build could do it fine. And obviously, elemental, that that worked out plenty well to get through it. Uh, but I, I, you know, God, I don't know. I'm also, I'm, I never found, I feel like I'm, I'm missing. Uh, I feel like there, there has to be a legendary vis weapon. Let's let's Google legendary vis weapon. Notria. The best weapons. <laughs> Van Bell and Juniper Sword have both of those. Why well, have seen that? There we go. All weapons in Anotria last song. I'm gonna scroll through this and see. Abandoned Bell, we found that. Veiled Great Sword. Uh we are pretty sure we found that. Ancient sword surrounded by many stories. Pretty sure we found Veiled Great Sword. Like Powder Banner, Gluttonous Fork. No, I did not find Gluttonous Fork. Long-handed fork that the first actor used. It's it's a uh, legendary Vis Polearm. I missed that one. Emerald Maiden. I don't know if I got that. Probably not. Gluttonous Fork. So there was one legendary Vis. Gluttonous Fork. How to get Guys of Zani, Gluttonous Fork. Wait, Guys of Zani? Didn't I kill Zani? Anotria. Yeah. Oh, and the game. Low level fatal error. Game just crashed. Hang on a sec. Seems we're back. I had the game crash on boot. Uh, but yeah, Gluttonous Fork we did get. That was from, from Zani, but it didn't, uh, it didn't have, like, it had this, but it didn't have the like highlighted elemental, and it was more of a attack art or power scaling, so we tossed it out. So, yeah, no, no uh, legendary tier that was like big with this. How like you know our other stuff is, which is kind of disappointing. Um, some other stuff though. I mean, I don't, I don't know. There was some, yeah. You know, the music was okay. There were some some good beats, some that were. Not as memorable. Uh, sound design seemed pretty good here, but I just can't get over the fact that I, I beat the whole thing in sub 15 hours, and that was with accidentally going to zone three first and not even really struggling there. Like we kind of bodied the game. I don't know. Um, damn! Like damn, bro! It's just. I can't believe it. But anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying when I was, before I was talking about weapons. But yeah, that the, the final hidden boss, that I could see that really sucking if you weren't good with your weapon or good with parries, because he's doing I mean he's pulling special abilities from like every boss in the game, so that's always fun. Um, but taking your build away is garbage. And I think if I wasn't a status heavy build that was able to inflict poison i mean i would have got that fight down with just parrying but it would have taken much longer and it would have been a pain in the ass for sure um so don't don't really agree with the lose everything it'd be cool if like as the fight progresses you like slowly gain back your shit you know you you gain back mask lines and then you gain back your uh your mask and you gain back your equip stuff like make it thresholds or something make the player you know because the whole thing with that hidden ending is like you are choosing to to live your life and refusing to be a puppet. So, you know, begin prying those things away. Like, let your your willpower comes to life or something. I don't know. 
Um, in terms of world design, all in all, I think they did pretty good. I mean, the fact that I completely missed uh, Zone 2 at the start, I think that, that speaks to the quality of... I don't know if that's that speaks to kind of a bad setup with like, hey, you know, it's the big gate and me just not noticing the sunflowers or if it speaks to, hey, you can go anywhere you want. But honestly, it feels like there should have been more. I feel like there, there, if there was like a whole fourth zone, an entire fourth zone to go through and then the final boss to put this closer to like a 20 hour playthrough for me, I think that would have elevated the experience. But I, I really thought I had a lot more. I didn't think I was going to, you know, dunk on uh, Spaventa and then just be like, oh, final boss. And then the, 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 the true final boss, like, holy shit, dude. We, oh my God. <laughs> Even the first time I was like dicking around, looking at my menu and weapons and I died. The second time I went in, popped a spell and, and we, we borderline instant killed him. We hit him for, I think it was like 70% of his fucking health. And then we were just like, boop, you're dead. Like, that was wild. I don't, I mean, outside of, like, you know, janky combo shit in Souls games, where it's like, here, watch me set up for this one-shot Redon build. Aside from, like, very specific niche use cases like that, you usually don't just be like, ha ba da ba da and, and make a final boss just die. Uh, which I guess, if we're considering Puluchino the final boss instead, then it's the opposite. Like, you know, if you're not good at parrying, that fight is gonna be ass. I don't know, man. This game falls in, in, in a weird spot. Like, there was a lot of this I enjoyed. Um, enemy variety wasn't terrible. Definitely wasn't the best, though. I'd, I'd kind of put it in, like, the mid-ground, but I don't know. I'd, I would say it's a solid attempt at a Souls-like. Uh, where it stands now, I'd, I don't know. It's not quite a 6, but... I think giving it a seven is also kind of gratuitous. <laughs> I, I think if they, if so if they, they stick to the proposed, uh, the proposed like map of stuff they're going to add in and they polish up the jank and all that, I think this might, might get up to like a seven out of 10. Uh, it's definitely not the worst souls like I've played. I mean, I, I, I did have fun at the end of the day. I think that's the most important thing is I did have fun with it, but it also, it's just, it ended so fucking short, you know? Like, Mortal Shell was short, but, I, you know, we went into Mortal Shell knowing, like, hey, this is not long. This is very much, like, an indie experience. Like, let me see. How many episodes did it take to get through Mortal Shell? Mortal Shell... The Let's Play for Mortal Shell clocked in at 18 episodes. This is wrapping up at 26. So, this ain't long. I want to see Lies of P 45 episodes. See, that's a beefy series right there. Let's see. Lords of the Fallen. The walkthrough was 29. The Let's Play was 52. Beefy series. And I don't know. I, I think part of it, I remember reading some interviews before this came out where there was, I don't want to say shit talk, but there was like a lot of borderline grandiose claims being made by the dev team like oh souls games have a formula and you know we want to show we can break away from that and do our own thing and create a truly unique original souls like and like there's a lot of good ideas here that i i do like that i think they did a good job with but yeah i i think the the length of this like it, it came in short i mean i don't know looking through that weapon list i don't feel like there were a lot of weapons that i missed uh, I would guess, like, if I had to, to ballpark this from a walkthrough perspective, I would I would guess I've done 90 to 95 percent of the content. This didn't feel like a minimalist playthrough, and we still cleared it in sub 15. So uh, that does leave me a little bit disappointed. So I think where it stands now, I probably put this at like 100 point scale, probably like a 65. Like, not great, not bad, just. I don't know there's there's a lot of polish i'd put it above steel rising but i after getting through if it like i said if it had a full fourth zone i think even the jank aside there would have been enough enough juice to squeeze that i think i would have enjoyed this like right under lies of p and lords of the fallen and it's it's still right under them uh 
But damn, it, 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 dude, like, fuck. I mean, I left for vacation, I came back, and I was like, all right, we're gonna jump back into this. I got like at least a whole nother zone left probably, and it was like, no, you're done. So, I don't know, it leaves me a little, like, I feel kind of just disappointed that there wasn't more. I feel like it ended too soon. So anyway, um, we're gonna wrap things up. I have no fucking idea what I'm gonna do for content. I gotta figure something out. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, because the next big game I was planning to coverage doesn't come out for like a month with, uh, Dragon Age, so. Maybe I'll do a channel, oh, yeah, I probably will do a channel poll. But anyway, we're closing out here, thanks for coming by, and I'll see y'all next time.